I'm very pleased to see that I actually learned a lot in Arabic. I was not expecting to know so much and like, I feel like I learned so quick. The teachers are very nice and the methods they use are absolutely insane. It's been so good so far. Um, we've done calligraphy, we've done language classes, as well as learning obviously the language and the vocabulary. Uh, we've learned so much about the Arab culture as well. The great thing about language learning is that it encourages communication with other people. It encourages learning about, you know, different art forms, different cultures, different communities, different traditions and cultures. Uh, and so when that is divorced from language learning, it really misses a lot of actually what you're learning about. So the idea of immersion is to fill a person's day with Arabic uh, activities, culture, conversations, listening to things, watching things, learning about uh, different aspects of the Arab world and they can probably make up you know 10 to 15 weeks in these two or three days. I'm totally a beginner in Arabic and uh, now at least I can complete a few sentences and like describe myself like um, I know at least how to greet someone when I say and when we speak to people. Um, well, I didn't know a lot of Arabic until like this week, so I've learned a lot. It was great. It was really nice. For me, uh, it's like uh, teaching me some new words and I think that's great. Inshallah. Was it? We brought six students, uh, both heritage and non-heritage students. So it's great for the heritage students because they feel they belong, they're an asset to the program and to the school itself. So they bring a lot of positive, but it's also very, very positive for the non-heritage students because they open their horizons to uh, uh, other cultures, other languages. So our students, they start learning um, uh, Arabic from uh, September. They were currently in year 10. Uh, this group, they will setting their actual GCSE next year. They found it uh, amazing and really helpful for them to learn even extra vocabulary, exposed to more culture aspect of the Arabic language. So me, I already speak Arabic. I speak a different dialect. So learning how to speak different dialects is like very good. Like I've learned how to say different words, same words, but in different dialects. So it sounds different. It's like very interesting. <laughs> Throughout the last three days, what I've noticed some of the students, they were very shy and reluctant to use the target language. But today I could see in the production performance that they have to showcase what they have learned for the last three days. It was a great opportunity to see that process, that increase of use of language. It's an amazing opportunity to be able to feel that and be part of that experience. It's, it's been really good. I've learned a lot of stuff. And um, it's been really cool like getting to know other people and from different schools and like seeing how much they know and how they were taught and then learning all that stuff and now we all just like know the same things and we can like talk to each other and it's really cool. If I was you I would definitely take this course if you I don't really think it matters where on the scale of Arabic you are you could be really experienced or you could have no experience at all I think that it, no matter where you start from you definitely will end up leaving knowing a lot more than you previously did.